everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Today I'm going to show you three simple techniques to prep your plastic grocery bags and other plastic bags for craft projects. All right, one of the ways you can prep your plastic bag is by removing the print that's on the bags. In some cases you might want to leave it on there, but in the most cases you may just want to end up with a plain color of plastic. So the way to do this is to take some household bleach, a few cotton balls, and you can wipe the bleach off or if you're doing a lot of bags you might just want to uh, do what I'm doing here which is rinsing the bleach off in the sink uh, of warm water. One thing I did find is it was easier if I changed cotton balls uh, between colors but as you can see it comes off pretty easily you do want to make sure that you're wiping it all the way off and then once you have all of the print loosened up you can just rinse the bag off in the water and let it dry just as another note we are using straight bleach here so you want to be sure you're protecting your clothing and not wearing your nicest clothes and if bleach irritates your skin you probably want to wear a pair of gloves So one of the techniques for um, using plastic bags is cutting plastic yarn out of the bag. So to do that you want to trim off the ends and open up the bag, flatten it out, and then what I'm doing here is I'm folding, I'm taking the folded edge and folding it about an inch or two from the top and then folding it again and folding it a third time. And then you want to cut your bag through all of the folds except for the very top one. So I'm just cutting through the folds and leaving the very top fold intact. And once I'm done with that I'm going to kind of open up what I'm calling the spine of the folded bag and I'm going to cut a diagonal cut from corner to corner. And once that's done, you have one long strand that you can just wrap into a ball and you have some plastic yarn available for projects. Alright, so these next photos are just to show you some of the things that I've actually made from plastic yarn. A lot of people crochet with it or knit with it, but you can also make other projects. This first project uh, was just some little pom-pom balls that I made to decorate my Christmas tree. I've also used uh, the plastic yarn for uh, a Christmas wreath and to make a big spider's web for a Halloween decoration. And in this last project, I actually used the yarn to make sort of a faux fur edge to a costume that I made. All right, for the last technique, we're going to be making a plastic fabric. And for this, you need to cut the bags apart and flatten them out again. And we are going to be actually melting the fusing the plastic so you want to take any precautions that you feel you need to as far as ventilation. Uh, use a well ventilated area, you can actually wear a respirator, um, but it does get a little fumy. So to do this you need to flatten out the bags again, just cut them apart and get the flat pieces. You need uh, some parchment paper or some butcher paper and a surface that you can iron on. Uh, I used about eight layers of plastic and the iron is set to about a, me a medium setting. And basically all you're going to do is just layer your plastic, make sure you're working on the butcher paper 
and ironing only on the parchment paper and you're just going to fuse all of the pieces of plastic together and this gives you a very sturdy uh, fabric to work with. As you can see the plastic does shrink up a little bit and it does get a little bit crinkly but if you work slowly and flip the piece uh, back and forth you should end up with a fairly um, uniform piece of fused plastic. So here are a few of the projects that I've made from fused plastic. You can see some little um, Christmas ornaments here that I made. Um, these are some little coin purses. If you save a lot of different colors of plastic, if you pay attention, you can actually make some very interesting fused plastic designs. These are some uh, tote bags that my sister has actually made. And you get a very sturdy product and you can do some very creative, colorful things. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope if you enjoyed this, you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my website at www.upcycledesignlab.com.